Hey, morning, everyone. Um, welcome to join NX, Solu uh, NX Solution webinar. And uh, today we are with uh, Touch Cloud. Jelos and uh, Simon are with us. So um, uh, basically, uh, I would like to share with you about some stories. Um, Touch Cloud is one of the earliest AI partner to integrate with us. OK, so uh, <laughs> I think. Uh, most of them are, are, are aware of their solutions already. Uh, so uh, basically, in my in my event or in my uh, webinar, I always show the solution <laughs> in my in my presentation. Okay, so so later I would like to share with you about something uh, in our company <clears throat> and uh, about our software and a little bit integration, basically related with the touch color. Okay. And today, Touch Cloud Jellos will uh, share with you about the 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 new solution. Let's say that new solution. Okay. So uh, besides this solution, the rest of them I will do a little bit sharing with you. Okay. So uh, let me share my screen. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, let's start. Okay. Uh, I, I think most of you are <laughs> already uh, 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 understand about the NS witness and uh, uh, neural optics. Okay, uh, we are focused on doing a very easy to use and a powerful VMS in the world. Okay, we want to be like uh, make it more trendy, you know, the, just like a. Uh, uh, if you use, uh, if you have the experience to use another software, you may feel like uh, a little bit difficult to understand about the, uh, like, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, algorithm or how to use, right? So we want to make it as easy as possible, not only for the users, but also for the uh, integrators, which is a typical partner, okay? <clears throat> so, uh, uh, we start from 2010, so uh, this year, 2020, is our 10 years anniversary, okay? So two years ago, uh, we realized that to deliver a pure VMS is not really enough. But we don't want to do everything ourselves, which is to, to develop the AI or develop uh, analytics ourselves, because we know we cannot do better than our partners, right? So we just start to develop our, uh, like, a, let's say, play phone, okay, for our partner to easily integrate the solution with us. Okay, so uh, we start from 2018, and we have done it uh, last year, okay, 2019. So uh, there are a lot of our partners, like Touch Cloud, to do the solution integration with us already. And basically, in today's session, I will not talk too much about our solution or our software, because we have uh, done a lot of uh, webinar to talk about that already. So basically, you can see that, uh, by the way, this is our client, OK? Uh, as you may know, this is our client. Uh, I just put my uh, presentation. I snatch up as a picture, and I put it here to do the, the, the webinar, OK? So you can put picture here. You can put, sorry, you can put the uh, video clip here. Also, you can put the website here. I would like to share with you, because uh, we put the Chromium. Uh, you can you can simply say it's Chrome, right? We, we put Chrome browser into the NS client. So uh, you can just like uh, open your browser uh, in NS Windows to do some just just like uh, using a browser, right? So uh, about the NX Witness features, I would like to share with you uh, in our account, our YouTube account, we have some video clip here. So if you feel interesting, you can come here to like uh, take a look at our webinar, for example, this one, uh, NX Solution Webinar Hong Kong, but, but this is in Chinese, okay? So uh, like a webinar in Thailand, okay, this is in English, okay. Uh, we have a basic introduction about our software, VMS, here, okay. So basically, you can take a look on this video and you can understand how NS Windows works, 
Okay. So let's jump into the uh, integrations. Okay, so uh, as you may know, uh, Touch Cloud is doing basically AI analytics, right? So in those videos, I would like to share with you, this is made by Touch Cloud, okay? It's like an intrusion, okay? It's an intrusion solution, while a person like a climb across the fence and the touch cloud solution will detect, will recognize this is a person or not. If this is the person and he climbed on the wall, okay, we get along. If this is a person, it's like a, a dog or a cat, just like a walk on the, on the wall or something, there's no along, okay? So you can you uh you can ignore some uh false and now by a uh, touch ground solution okay also like this one is people counter right uh as you can notice even the quality the, the the video quality is so bad like this you can notice that almost all persons are recognized and counted okay and also this one is from touch cloud as well Right, the uh, vehicle counting, right? Uh, you can count by different vehicle, like a car, motorbike, trunk. It's come directly or turn right, turn left as a smart traffic solution. Okay, so I think basically that's all. Uh, that's all from my side. And I would like to hand over to Jellos for him to introduce you their new solution. Okay. So give us your turn. Hey. Okay, I think you can share your screen now. Okay, I got it. I got it. Hey. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, guys, if you have any question, uh, you can see there is a Q&A box, right? You just type your question there, and I and Jealous will reply to you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jeros. Thank you, Andy. And hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. Before I carry on, let me introduce myself. My name is Jeros, the project manager at TouchCloud. As you know, I'm here to share our AI solution, Gacha. The information I will give you today will help you know how our cross camera tracking works and how it works with NetOptics. TouchCloud is an AI solution and application company, which belongs to Chroma Group. We apply deep learning technology to image analysis in surveillance applications. For now, we have three kinds of major products. Kekai is an application for intrusion detection. When someone goes into the other zone, the object will be detected and snapshot to our event portal. Also, bookmark the time step in network optics if the camera is enabled a recording. And KKI also can be used in detecting the worker who is now wearing a helmet. Upsi is for flow counting and crowd detection. And we can use it to know the people numbers and their directions. It also can be used in vehicles and it can identify the truck, bus, car, motorcycle, and bicycle. This kind of our product is Gacha, which is what I want to show you today. Okay, have you ever imagined some situation like someone who breaks in your company, kidnaps a kid, Rubber a bank, or a kid who gets lost in the zoo, or need to confirm the footprint of someone who got COVID-19. You may say, we can ask the police to check the camera video to chase them. Yes, but it may take a very long time. Now, Gacha can help you to do that more effectively.
Gotcha is a deep learning based deep learning based solution to search and trust for target people in different cameras. And Gotcha can identify targets by using face or body sampling to avoid the target who was wearing a mask or the back turn on to the camera or the face size is too small in the camera and then you can know where has the target ever been try to imagine that one day you take your daughter to go to disneyland there are so many people at this moment your daughter is disappeared. What would you do? Sorry, can anybody hear me? Um, yes, yes, I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, sorry. I saw the, the webinar is broken, sorry. And one day you take your daughter to go to Disneyland and there are so many people. At this moment, your daughter is disappeared. What would you do? Go to the service center and ask them to broadcast that your daughter is missing. If she heard, please come to the service center. Or if someone saw her, please bring her to the service center. But what if she was kidnapped? It will waste too much time in broadcasting and waiting. Using Gacha can help you know where is the last place she stayed and know she just got lost or she was kidnapped. For another example, you are an infectious disease prevention staff. One of your visitors got COVID-19 and you need to know where he had ever been and who he had ever approached closely. But the thing is, he told you he doesn't remember that, or he only can tell partially. Using Gacha can help you find out where the visitor had ever been and who he had ever approached. The contact tracing also can be met by cell phone, Bluetooth, or GPS. But the most difference is Gacha not only knows where the target had ever been and who the target had ever approached, but also can check the situation of approached via images. For example, maybe the target and the people who were approached were all wearing a mask and they just passed by each other. That means it's low risk or maybe like shaken the hand, or even had a, ever hugged each other. So it may need to pay more concern. Next, let me show you how Gacha works on specific people search between different cameras. Before we move to the portal, I want to show you two pictures. The left one is in the office that we are gonna use to do the sampling. And the right one is in the East Metro Mall that we are gonna use to do the searching. They are totally different things. And most people were wearing a mask. Okay, the left one was recorded by the camera and the right one was recorded by the cell phone. That means Gacha can accept any kind of recording device if the video format can be supported by Google Chrome. Okay, and let's move to the portal. As you can see, this is our portal and it's very easy to use. First, we need to import a video file for sampling. So click create video sample. and select which video file you want to import. Then select the date of the video 
and design a sample type, sampling type. Gotcha supposed using body or face sampling. And does it ring a bell? Most people were wearing the mask in the video. So we are going to use body sampling. And we keep the switch off. If you want to use space sampling, please make sure the minimal size of the space is at least 128 times 128 pixels in a full HD camera. Now, select the influence quality. You may say, of course I want the best, but the higher quality, the longer influence time. So, Please depends on your need and select a suitable quality. Next, leave a description, then sampling. But considering the demo time, I'm going to skip the sampling process and use a sampling I already completed before. So we go to the person sampling. And all sampling, all sampling results were recorded here. I'm gonna select, okay, this one. Okay, you can see Gacha already captured the people who were recorded by the camera. And you may have a question, why Gacha captured several photos in the same person? Like this and this. That's because Gacha identify objects by characteristics of the body. When AI judge the characteristics are different, they will be identified that is a different object. So they have a different ID on the top. As you can see, there are so many people were captured by Gacha. Does it have any way to let me find my target easily? Yes, you can use the sampling filter to look for your target. You can select the edge view like a gender, edge group, body shape, hair type, and upper and lower wearing. And for example, I want to select someone who were wearing a long sleeve top. And uh, jeans. Gacha will list objects who match your conditions. And I also can try to find a target by wearing colors. And let me clear the attribute filter first. And for example, I want to find someone who will wearing the blue color. Okay, and I can move the mouse on the color board and it can filter objects who match the condition color isolated. See, it's very helpful to find a target in a huge amount of photos. Okay. And I'm gonna select, I'm gonna select some people as my target to do the sampling. So I'm gonna use this one and uh, okay, this one. And click video body tracking to imp import the video file. Hey, as the same as, as the sampling, I select a video file, video date, inference quality, and leave a description, then checking. Now, we just need to wait for Gacha to complete the file upload and inference. 
You can check the inference. Sorry. You can check the inference progress here. The process time depends on the network upload speed and the file size. Um, so basically you are doing, uh, as you say, sampling from a video file. And then yeah. when, you get, when you get a person, you can search this person in another video file. Yes. Okay. Or another, another camera. Uh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's complete. Um, And this one is a result we just completed. So as you can see, Gotcha found two people. And let's check are they our targets or not. Hmm. It thinks they are our targets. And we can click one of the pictures to check more pictures. Yes. This man is one of our targets. And let's see the second picture. Here's our another target. Okay, and you can see there are two people who are wearing a similar clothes. But Gacha still can identify which one is our target. Okay, and let's back to the slides. Now, you see how Gacha works, and let me summarize the pictures for Gacha. First, it's a web portal, so it no needs additional setup, just in the same network segment with AI system. You can use Gacha anywhere, and depends on the environment. You can choose the search target by using fast or body sampling. It can be easier to find your sampling target by attributes filter, including gender, body shape, hair type, upper and lower welding, and welding colors. You can choose multiple targets that you want to search in the same sampling video. And you can import a format of video file like Google Chrome supported. The last, because the higher quality, the longer inference time. So you can select the inference quality depends on your need. Okay, and the, there are more benefits with integrating Gacha with network optics. It's more easily and more efficient if, if, and more efficiently to use network optics to find specific people by Gacha. And it's the only one VMS in Gacha that you can select the playback video of camera directly without exporting video file to sample or search the target. Gacha can auto list all cameras that have enabled recording in, in network optics. And it can select multiple camera videos which are in the network optics to run the batch AI analytics. Um, sorry. So, okay. do you mean you can select a uh, NS winner's recording footage to do the sampling? Yes. And then search in the NX recording footage as well? Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. And Next, uh, we are. I'm gonna. I'm gonna demo how can, how we can use use it and okay. how we work with networks. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let, let's reply some uh, question here. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh. Uh. There's a question. Can Gacha use on um, fish eye and the wide panoramic cameras like a 180 degree cameras? Sorry. Did, did you did you try that before? to use fish eye camera. Fish on fish eye and why 
Hermistic Emma. Okay. Yeah, let me yeah. yeah, let me answer this question. Yeah, of course, yes, we can do that. Just like uh, just like uh Jealous mentioned, because our gotcha uh, solutions uses person features or characteristics to do the searching and tracking. So if the, the person features or characteristic uh, characteristic is not enough in no matter in fish eye camera or, or in white uh panoramic cameras, of course, the, the searching and tracking uh, uh, will not so good. But if, if there is uh, enough features or characteristics uh, shown in, in those cameras, of course, our gacha solution can work well. Okay, so in general, in a normal camera, the accuracy would be better, right? Correct. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So uh, another question, uh, kindly connect us with the James Lada. Okay. okay, no problem, no problem. So uh, Bob, Bob is our uh, Philippine partner. So uh, I, I think he would like to contact you in person. So uh, yeah, but later on, I, I will introduce you to each other, okay? Okay, thank you, Bob. Okay, so, so we can okay. continue. Okay, and there are more benefits with integrate in integrating gotcha with neural optics. So it's more easily and more efficiently to use neural optics to find. Okay, sorry. <laughs> this one I just I just I just told. And okay, let's see the let's see how gotcha works with neural optics and. Let's back to the gacha portal. First, we just click the create video sample. But in here, we want to show how how the gacha works with Nevapix. So we create a NX sample. And select the camera you want to sample. Gacha will show a snapshot from the sampling camera. And in select, the, I need to select the video date to catch the playback video. So for example, I want to use the on August 19, and the time is 12, 25, and Five second duration. I'm gonna set uh, fifty-two and leave a description. Then sampling. But the same reason, I'm going to skip the sampling process and use the sampling I already completed before. So let's back to the person sampling. And here you can see the difference in the video was imported from a file or new optics. And this one is from new optics. The file name is camera ID and it has the video start time and duration. So I'm gonna use this one. You also can use the sampling filter to look for your target, including personal attributes and whirling colors. And in here, you can search the target in multiple camera playback videos of Nevotics by using NX batch body tracking. But you know, the more videos the longer inference time. So today we are not gonna use it. And uh, this time, again, sorry, uh, what is batch body checking? Okay, batch body checking means I can select several camera, camera playback video from Nevotics and it will, uh, Gacha will run it uh, automatically and but it's one by one. So it need a, it is a batch, batch to 
execute it. Uh, okay, so so you mean you mean uh you you have done the sampling first, and then you can select a person and then search in multiple cameras, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Good. Cool. Okay. So. I want to select two people who were wearing a similar clothes as my target. Okay, I want to select this one and this one. So we don't use the NX batch body tracking, so we use the NX body tracking for one time. And I want to and this camera is in front of our conference room. So it's, a, it's another camera. And the date I want to select uh, August 19. And time is 11, 59, and 50. The duration time I'm gonna set 71. And if, uh, If a description, quick checking. The same. We need to wait for Gacha to come break a file upload and inference. Um. So, when you do this one, uh, basically you get video from a uh, NX server to do the sampling. And then yes. you use you choose a person, and then you will get the video from a uh, next server again to do the checking, right? Yes, and it's a and select a different cameras. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh, okay okay okay. Okay, and it's done. And let me see the result. This one. Okay, we can see Gacha found two people. And Gacha actually can identify these two people who were wearing the similar clothes. And we also can click one of the pictures to check more pictures. Okay. And it seems the pictures, some pictures is not our target. And as you can see, I actually found the person right. But just like a human got the wrong person sometimes, the AI identifying the wrong person is our target in one frame for some reason, but the AI still found the target, so we still know the target had ever been there at that time. And let's check the second picture. Yes, this man is our target. Um, so uh, when, you, when you had done the the like say checking, uh, yes. Your 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 web portal will show you the like you you search for two persons, right? So it shows you two pictures for these two persons. Yes, and when you click one of the pictures, you can see more pictures about the person about the target. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So you you your your system just show like say two best best picture first. And you click uh, in, you can see more, is it? Not, not really, because uh, he will create, he will correct the, all, the target, all the targets photo in, in one group. But it just, uh -huh. it just show one picture and it's random. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, I so see. we need to click to the picture for check it's now a target. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And let's back to the slides. And 
Let me summarize the feature of Gacha again. First, it's a, it's a web portal, so it no need additional setup, just in the same network segment. With that system, you can use Gacha anywhere, and depends on the environment, you can choose to search targets by using fast or body sampling. And it can it's easier to find, uh, find your sampling targets by attribute filter, including gender, body shape, hair type, upper and lower welding, and welding colors. And you can choose multiple targets like you want to search in the same sampling video. And you can import the format of video file like Google Chrome supported. Because of the higher quality, the longer inference time. So you can select the inference quality depends on your need. And there are more benefits when integrating Gacha with network optics. It's more easily and more efficiently to use network optics to find specific people by Gacha. Because uh, it's uh, the only one VMS in Gacha that you can select a playback video of the camera directly without exporting video file to sample or search the target. Gacha can auto list all camera that have enabled recording in network optics. And it can select multiple camera videos which are in the network optics to run batch AI analytics. Okay, and there is one thing I want to mention especially. It normally, the way to search a specific target is via single or multiple attributes to limit the searching scope, like a man who was wearing red clothes. But it still needs to use your eyes to one by one find out the target. But if you want to find multiple targets that have a different attribute, you may need to find them separately. Gacha find out old target from the sampling video first. And you can real time using our attribute filter to save the time finding out the target sampling. And based on the, based on the target sampling, more accurately finding out the target in other video or other camera playback videos of network optics. Okay, and if you would like to know Gacha or our other products in more detail, please feel free to email us. Simon is our CEO and BD head. His mail address is Simon Dundee at touchcloud.com.tw. You also can email me. I'm the project manager of TouchCloud. My email address is Gerald Stalian at touchcloud.com.tw. Thank you for listening. So, any questions? Yeah, I have one question. <laughs> um, <laughs> by, by default, by default, you are doing body sampling, right? And yes. uh, you can also enable the face sampling. Yes. So, once you enable the face sampling, uh, the system will do both or only for face? Yes. It's only for face, uh, right? Yeah, it only, it only, it only for face characteristic. So we can do the sampling for face or body. Uh, it's, it's, need to, it's need to separate. Uh, I see. So it's a face or body, right? Yes. And if you want to use face sampling, please remember and make sure you are Fed, your your target fast is hundred at least hundred twenty eight times hundred twenty eight pixels in a full okay, HD the, the, camera. The face should be the should, the face should be big enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. No problem. Okay. Uh, we have a question here. Uh, uh Jonas, you can click the Q and A. Are we able to okay. chain and use Gacha to sample other? Okay. Uh, are we able to chain and use Gacha to sample other? non-human uh in it is a total different it's a totally different model so if you have the you have a requirement and um, please contact us and let me 
discuss more about the detail because some something we can something we can change and but something is too is need to um, is need to identify very clear clearly so maybe he cannot do it thank you and if you means animal animal mean animal is very kind of like a dog like a cat uh, like elephant tiger and it's it's a total different is uh, I should say it's a different kind of uh, characteristics so if you if you means the object all have the four foot and can run on the ground and maybe we can we can train it but if you want to identify very clearly like uh, it's a tiger or it's a cat it's a dog I think um, you need to more discuss okay thank you yeah I think anyway uh, th this is the kacha is the uh, standard product right and yeah. to identify a person or a face right so uh, if you have another like uh, target to be recognized yeah you feel free to email them to discuss right yes this content us yeah so okay. uh, another one okay Baba has a question how about server how about server requirement for a gotcha what is that it so gotcha gotcha is a is a appliance or just a software okay and we have a we have a, a AI application box for gotcha but we also can depends on the project and we only we only provide a software so, so for uh, for the gacha for the gacha you sell hardware plus software right uh, yeah 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 Ac actually i think gacha is our appliance our product which is bundled hardware together with software so just like uh jello said that we we also can sell our customer the pure software uh, as the requirements and as to the, the question uh, Bob asking about the, the server requirement for the gacha, for our appliance, we use uh, Intel Core i7 uh, CPU to do the, to do the gacha uh, searching, cross camera searching and the, and the tracking. So I think the, the, of course the server spec can uh, be depending uh, on, the, on the requirement, of course. But for our appliance, I think the, the spec is quite lean. Okay. So Bob, uh, just email them <laughs> if you have any thought about this, okay? Okay, and Janos, uh, uh, please check the chat. Uh, there's okay. a question, how about costing and the business model? Yeah, I think I <laughs> I will answer this question <laughs> because it's a question about the business development. I think yep. the of course the, the the still please please uh give me an email, drop me an email, and I will answer you about the the cost uh question about the uh, uh, regarding to the business model. I think what we are going to sell our customer is the total solutions. Uh. Again, it's an appliance. What we sell to our customer is the product. So our business model is quite uh, simple. We sell our product, including hardware and software uh, together to our customer. And uh, of course we can provide some uh, customization service uh, in terms of model retraining and uh, a little bit uh, customization survey, service regarding to our portal for our customers. And of course, we, uh, we also offer the uh, maintenance services to our customers. So that's our business model. Okay. Uh, so there's another question. What type of OS is required to run Kaja?
Yeah, currently we use uh, Linux, which is Ubuntu uh, Linux to, to run Gacha. So in your appliance, you are running Ubuntu, right? Correct. Okay. So, um, any other questions? Okay, uh, there's one in chat. Uh, have to use Gacha private camera or we can use, I think you can use your own camera, right? Jealous, Simon? We can. Yes, we, yes, customer can use their own camera as long as it uh, is supported by Network Optics VMS. <laughs> yeah, uh, because basically uh, uh, the Gacha can get the video from the NS Windows, right? So basically if NS Windows can support the cameras, of course they can get the video clip from the NS Windows, right? And by the way, NS Windows can support over 99% cameras in the world. No problem. Thank you. Okay, any other questions? Uh, Janos, can you come back to the uh, email okay. slide? Yes, email page. And for now, we use a uh, we use an Intel i7 CPU and with the embedded GPU to run the gacha and it's the best, it's the best query requirement. Yes, and do I answer your question? So in, in your in your gacha in, uh, appliance, you just use the Intel embedded GPU, correct? Yes. Ah, okay, okay, cool. Yeah, okay. I saw another question is coming. Uh, Henry is asking, is our product already in Malaysia? Yes, actually, our, we, we have agent and SI partner in Singapore and Malaysia. So, which means if they need the support, they are, they are agents to help, right? Yes. Okay, okay. I think uh, for business issue, uh, you can email to each other directly and uh, to get the more smooth contact, right? Uh, uh, Janos, please uh, turn back to the email page for them to uh, memorize it. Okay. You, you use like, yes. Yeah, thank you. Okay, any other questions? Okay, so, uh, okay, this one. <laughs> uh, Indonesia, uh, I guess you are asking, uh, is there an Asian in Indonesia, right? Uh, Simon? Uh, yes, uh, just like Malaysia and Singapore, uh... We also have agent and SI partner in Indonesia as well. Okay, so no feel free to contact feel free to contact Simon and then Simon will introduce you who you can contact with. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Uh send Sandy, can you please send an email to uh, Simon? And then Simon will introduce you the the agent in uh, Indonesia for your contact. Okay. Or or later on later on I will uh, forward Sandy's email to 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 Simon to contact with. Okay, please. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Okay, so uh, any other questions? Yeah, you can ask here since Jellos and uh, Jellos and uh, Simon's here, right? And you can talk the with them. Uh, if uh, you don't have a question so far, you can email us uh, after this webinar as well. Okay.
Okay. So, any other questions? Okay, uh, if no more questions, uh, we will stop here for today's webinar. Okay, so thank you for coming. Thank you for joining us. And uh, if you have any questions about about uh, touch cloud about Unnex, just email us. Just email us. Okay, or you have any idea about the webinar? Yeah, you can email us as well, and uh, we will reply you in the email. Okay. So thank you, thank you guys. Have a good okay, day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.